Uh, my comment session yesterday was flooded with Hey, brother Bernard! Hey, brother Bernard! I'm not sure why. Uh, I had to go and look out. And I saw that a lot of people, there was a, a particular video that was trending. And uh, so it has brother Bernard, brother Bernard, and everyone keep calling me. But I want to let you all know that uh, you would actually have copyright infringement if you don't give me my my respect. Copyright, please. Brother Bernard should be given to me. I think I'm the only content creator in Nigeria that has Bernard in his brand name. Bernard can be your name, but you don't have it in the brand name. I am B.I. Bernard. So B.I. is what they call me a lot, Coach B.I. and all that, but Bernard is still in my name, so that should be my stuff. However, uh, it's a little bit disturbing now because of uh, Chelsea fans. We have to be a little bit concerned, and I'm trying to know uh, what the public and what a lot of Chelsea fans think about the current situation, because it is reported right now that Luis Enrique is in London discussing with the Chelsea board for getting the next jo uh, Chelsea job. And to me, oh, honestly, I not like Enrique, but. I think people get it wrong when you give your opinion. Yesterday I was under a serious attack, uh, spiritually and physically, based on the fact that I, I, I always uh, disagree with Thomas Tuchel. And people are like, oh, I don't know why you hate him so much. I don't know why. You're so ungrateful. I get a lot of insults because I go against uh, Tuchel's uh, tactics. But it's just a matter of choice. If I don't like Tuchel, it doesn't mean I, I, I didn't enjoy him while he was at Chelsea. Uh, I remember when he came, we kept winning games, we were pressing high and all that, playing, playing, uh, front -footed, uh, playing on the front foot and all that. So we played really good while Tuchel was there, but on the second season, it was, uh, it was not the right thing because he kept playing players out of position and all of that. So I'm sorry if you don't value my opinion just the same way some people would be like what is this one they talk if you talk about uh Ricky, you talk about uh Naglesma. Ricky, why don't we shop just league Ricky, why don't coach back and all that so i feel paul mason said today that he thinks bernard rogers is the best choice for chelsea so everybody had their opinion but i believe that luis enrique should not be chelsea coach because uh i see him as somebody that's not very serious uh, I see him as somebody who is not, uh, who, 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 who doesn't have so much of uh, stubbornness when it comes to the Chelsea squad. Because if we are going to sign, if we are going to sign a coach, we need a coach that has character. Because the the squad is a very big squad. And talking about the whole situation yesterday, we are looking at the possibility about Chelsea having uh, issues of who to play and who not to play. And because of that, it, it gives you a lot of concern and it worries the team a lot because it's a large squad and uh, this whole selection issue is a big problem. So I think, uh, irrespective of that, I don't see uh, Erin Kay as the best option. Uh, if I am asked who I want, then I will say Naglesma and people will say, so how do you think Naglesma, who is a very young boy, can handle the squad? Now, why I go for Naglesman is because uh, he, he did so well in uh, RB Leipzig. Uh, he's very good at making your talent become better. And I'm very concerned about the investments that we made already in Madweke, Modric, uh, Fofana, uh, Enzo, you know. So we spent a lot of money on these guys, Buddy Shilling and all that. So he knows how to bring... The, the talent from the young players. And I feel like, okay, maybe you could do that. And Enrique is known for so many tic-tac, 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 tic-tac kind of football. You could get 80% of the possession, but sometimes you will not have those goals. And, uh, you know, that is what I think. So my only concern right now is, is Chelsea going to sign Enrique? Because I believe it should be Naglesman, because everybody reports that Naglesman is the favorite. But... Will they talk to somebody when they Germany? Then another one come up for Spain called London. So the one where they London now, I think he has a higher chance of convincing Chelsea board that he should take the job. And 
that one already stated, Enrique already stated that he will be so happy if he becomes the Chelsea coach. So what do you think about the next Chelsea coach? Do you think it should be Naglesman or Enrique? What's your reaction towards Enrique being in London right now? For me, Enrique in London right now is not a good news. For Chelsea fans, what do you think? Your opinion matters as well. And you can please share the video and comment. And God bless you one time.